This is a confessional. Hey y'all, my name is Sarah. I am new to the RU Cosplay Squad. I recently graduated from School of Performance, uh, Performance Production at Ryerson. I've been cosplaying for about five years now, um, going to cons, competing at cons. And today I wanted to talk about costume comfort and functionality. This is an issue I ran into a lot on my latest build, Suki. Um, there was a lot of things that just made me hate wearing this costume. I love going to conventions and being able to wear a costume at conventions and having fun at a, at a convention is a big part. And you know, being stuck not being able to move your arms or bend over or walk quickly is so frustrating and I wanted to talk about some of the things that made having fun in this costume absolutely impossible. So first part that I wanted to talk about in this costume was the pauldron. It is so pretty. I love it so much. This was a handmade resin sculpt um, that I made myself for my university thesis. Um, I am so incredibly proud of this, but there is one thing that I hate. It doesn't fit me. When I made this, I made a tinfoil base to represent my shoulder, and then I sculpted the clay on top of that. After I finished, after I pulled this out of the silicone mold and put it on my shoulder, I realized, oh, it doesn't fit. So you can see there's a big gap in here and then there's a big gap up here. So what happened was I didn't give myself enough space in the mold of my shoulder. So I gotta find a way to fix this, either if I blast it with heat and just melt it a little bit, and melt it out a little bit, just so it has a little bit more give and it'll sit more comfortably on my shoulder. Cause right now to get it to sit comfortably, I have to jam it on. And even then it's kind of, it's kind of sketchy. Another thing is that it's super heavy. Um, it is made out of resin. It is hollow, but I did underestimate how much the resin would weigh. Um, so an issue, because it has, if you look on the inside here, it has a D-ring right here, and then it has this strap that goes underneath my arm just to hold it in place. But the little D-ring on top, there's a little fabric loop that comes through here. Um, and I guess that loop isn't long enough or it's not, it doesn't support it enough. So the pauldron likes to pull that loop off and the loop is attached to the dress and the dress gets pulled off and the strap for the corset gets pulled off. So it's super uncomfortable um, and I'm constantly having to readjust. I even attach it to my binder, which is usually my bottom layer and it's like, it's pretty strong. So I think I need to make a foam version of this um, out of foam clay and then I'll have a really light, easy version to wear when I'm wearing it at a convention. This one is mainly just for pretty because it is pretty. Um, so I think I would, you know, just wear this for competition and photos and then immediately switch it out for other things. Last thing on this costume that I hated dealing with was just the accessories, like the earrings. They would constantly fall off. They would get stuck in the binder or in the front of the corset or in the front of the dress. And then when I turned my head, they just pop out and then just fall into the front. Um, so I was constantly having to, you know, reattach them. Just like th little things that you didn't think that you'd have to worry about, like earrings on this costume. So at one point during my photo shoot, I just took them out and I gave them to the photographer and I went, we'll put these on at the very end when we take the de detail shots. So uncomfortable to wear. I love it. I think it's beautiful if, pho if a photographs really, really well, but wearing it, I can only do it for like an hour at a time. You don't want to be helpless in your costume. And that's what I felt. I felt like I was helpless. I was constantly asking for people to assist me, you know, going upstairs or, you know, walking across a bridge or something like that, you know, or sitting down even like that was a pain reaching, like trying to adjust my wig or my crown. I couldn't, the pauldron arm, I couldn't move it above about here. So my arm was stuck here. So when you're making big costumes like this, try things on as you go along. Make sure you get enough fabric. Make sure you triple check your measurements. Those are the three pieces of advice I can, I can, uh, I can offer are those three is triple check your measurements 
um, try things on as you go with other pieces. Like if there's if something needs to go on top of something else, try it on on top of something else. Don't just put it on and think, okay, it'll be fine. Get enough fabric, get enough fabric get enough fabric because you're gonna check triple check your measurements and then you're gonna go look at your fabric and realize that you don't have enough so you have to make it smaller. So those are the three pieces of advice I have for trying to make your costume fit a little bit better, make it a little bit more comfortable for yourself. Um, make duplicates of things like to, to ever wear this again, I would have to make a foam version of it, um, which won't be as nice, but it'll be close enough. So. That's all I have for this video. Um, make sure you follow and like our Instagram and Facebook. Follow, subscribe, and like um, our YouTube channel. And remember, if you can dream it, you can make it, you can become it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.